start with understanding what is honors method suppose you have a polynomial f of x f of x which is defined as a naught into x power n plus a1 into x power n minus 1 plus a2 into x power n minus 2 and you continue till a n minus 1 x power 1 plus a n into x power 0 which is obviously 1 so this is your polynomial and suppose you have another polynomial g of x which whose degree is 1 which is say x minus a x minus a now you have to divide f of x by g of x and now and you want to know what's the quotient and the reminder you're dividing f of x by g of x and you want to know uh, the quotient quotient and the remainder the remainder so there are several methods to find the quotient and the remain remainder but one of the most important most famous i believe method is this honors method so let's see what we do in honors method so let's uh, uh, proceed with this honors method what you do is first you draw two perpendicular lines one horizontal and one um, vertical Oops, these are very crooked lines use this. you draw two perpendicular lines one horizontal and another vertical and you write the coefficients of f of x here that is a naught a one a two a three and you continue till a n minus one and finally a n now here you're dividing by x minus a so you write here a now i want you all to note this point that we are dividing by x minus a if we would have been dividing it by x plus alpha suppose then uh, it would have been x minus negative alpha so we would have written here negative alpha instead of plus alpha so i want you all to stress on this uh, minus sign right just make sure that you consider the sign here and now you write here a and you write a zero here and let me draw another line here let me, close it. Let me erase this and now what you do is you write a zero here and you add these two these two terms you add it and obviously the answer is a naught and then the next step is you multiply these two you multiply you multiply it and you write the result here say h1 which is obviously a times a naught and again you add these two you add them and you write it here you write it here which is suppose here. Q1. Q1 and again you multiply this Q1 with A and you write it here you get H2 and your Q2 
and proceeding in this way you will get q3 q1 q2 q3 and so on up to qn minus 1 and qn so here oops here this is qn this last box is the remainder remainder and what's your quotient the quotients again it is a polynomial say q of x it is this a naught times x power n mi n minus 1 why n minus 1 because the degree of f of x was n you divided it by the degree 1 you divided that with a polynomial whose degree is 1 so the degree of the quotient is n minus 1 if you would have divided it with a polynomial of degree r the degree of the coefficient the the quotient would have been n minus r no confusion here i hope i make myself clear so your quotient your quotient is a times x power n minus 1 plus q1 times x power n minus 2 plus q2 times x power n n minus 3 and you continue till you get q power n minus 2 into x power 1 and finally the constant term q n minus 1 and the remainder is q n so this is basically the honors me method of finding quotient and remainder and okay so as we have now learned the honors method let's practice some problems let me give you a polynomial x square minus 3x plus 2 this polynomial is going to be here this is divided by x minus 2 so what is the remainder and what's the quotient let's find out so first draw two vertical lines so two two perpendicular lines in this manner, and write the coefficient so the co coefficient of x square is 1 and the coefficient of x is minus 3 and the coefficient uh, the constant term is 2 yes and now we are dividing it by x minus 2 so we will write 2 here and now let's start with the 0 and add these two add, add them when we add it we get 1 here and now multiply these two multiplication so 2 times 1 is 2 so uh, minus 3 plus 2 gives you negative 1 now again multiply negative 2 negative 1 times 2 is negative 2 so when you add these two you get 0 this is the remainder so the thing which is left is 1 times x minus 1 is equal to 0 right that is x minus 1 is equal to 0 this is the quotient right so and this is was what we divided it and 0 is the remainder so x minus 1 times x minus 2 gives you our original equation f of x this is because here the remainder is 0 that is x minus 1 is a factor of it now let's see an other example this so we have x power 4 minus 3x cube plus plus 3x minus 9 this is the polynomial and now you have to divide it by x plus 4 let's see what's the quotient first of all draw two perpendicular lines in this manner and write the coefficient coefficient of x power 4 is 1 and the coefficient of x cube is negative 3 now the x square term is missing 
that is it its coefficient is 0 because 0 multiplied to anything is 0 so now you do, don't forget to consider the 0 because uh, if you don't consider the 0 the whole problem is going to go wrong now the x term is uh, the x coefficient is 3 and the constant term is negative 9 you have written it and now you are dividing it with x plus 4 now remember to consider the sign it is just as x minus negative 4 because neg minus into minus gives you plus so you have to write here minus 4 don't uh, forget to consider the sign even here now our thing is ready right here let's proceed with a 0 and this is 1 1 times minus 4 is minus 4 now when you add, when you add this negative 4 plus negative 3 is negative 7 and when you add these two you get 28 positive 28 when you add 0 and 28 you get a 28 here now 28 times 4 is it's negative 11 100 and so it's negative 120 112 so when you add 3 to it you get negative 109 and multiply it to negative 4 what do you get you get a positive 109 times 4 is 6 3 and 4 yes it's 436 so when you add 9 to it this part is going to be the reminder which is 427 it's 427 so when you divide uh, this this thing with x plus 4 the quotient is x cube that is 1 times x cube this is the cube term uh, y cube because uh, the degree of our original equation was 4 so and you're dividing it with a degree of 1 so here 4 minus 1 is 3 this we have x cube term this is a square term this is the uh, power 1 simply x and this is the constant term so our our quotient is 1 times x cube minus 7 x square plus 28 x plus 28x and minus 109 this is the quotient and the remainder is 427 hope you've got uh, got the idea of how to solve uh, how to divide polynomials and inshallah in next video i will show you how how does this thing make sense how does honors method makes sense